Okay, uh, day, uh, day 180, part six, uh, White House. Obviously, uh, the president is in Florida, so um, it's a little bit of a light day. I don't even know if it changes that much with visitors when we've been here. The weather is only thing that really changes the, things. The weather is, is probably the big determining factor. And we've been talking, we've been walking uh, around Washington, D.C. Uh, just Kamonics for anybody who just wants to know. The reason why we didn't go straight to Kamonics, hello, is there's H Street right there. So we're the guy who shot himself behind our head here, which is Burgess, right here at the right where those people are standing, right by the fountain. His car was right over there on K Street. He went right over there by the Starbucks. So it wasn't it wasn't far. And we may have a, a spontaneous pro spontaneous process. Protest. Um, so anyway, Kimonix, this is 1600 Pennsylvania right here. 1700 just one block that way. I'll turn the camera. That's how close Kamonix, Mr. Mr. Uh, and again, 90% good stuff, 10% uh, chemical weapons. That's Kamonix. That's um, Musa, uh, Muaz Mustafa. Um, and it's, it's one of those things, task force, where it's everything that we talked about before I met you, DynCorp. It's the chemical weapons. It's the uranium, it's the nuclear weapons, it's the ballistic rockets, it's the child trafficking, it's the organ harvesting, it's the illegal gun running, it's the drugs. It's, it's Anything it's, that you can think about would be in a rat line, quote unquote rat line, is involved here. All arrayed around around the White House. I mean, it's like ring, ring around the White House. Um, Kamonix right there. I mean, it just amazes me. I didn't even bother to go over there because it's like, why bother? It's I, I can, you know. I'm not gonna say throw a stone because I don't want to uh, be set you up. Don't throw stones. I don't throw stones. I don't want to be set up to go to federal prison for we somebody else's illegal uranium trade. Um, but um, yeah, I think we had a good discussion about informants and so forth. And I, I, I don't want to make any more. I don't want to talk much more about that situation. I just think that there's a lot of throws going on right now. I think people are appealing to my ego. Uh, with the Motorola phone and you know the whole Motorola stole my dad's patent and, and all that and I my dad's dead he's 18 years ago no reason to resurrect it the, the Teamsters got the patent a long time ago I don't really care I'm not gonna that's not gonna that appeal doesn't work you know I mean so what Motorola got the patent Google bought Motorola for the patents Google bought Motorola for 12 Point five billion dollars and, and sold it for three billion and called it a success and the only thing they kept the only thing they kept was the patents it's the only thing they kept of course you know if it depends on if you think Quinn's analysis is right which means you could add an antenna and a more powerful phone which my dad had in the plans and that could have been the cur precursor of cell phones so but I don't care that's long gone We've that bridge, we crossed that bridge a long time ago. Um, so I'm going to just take questions right now uh, here at the White House. Um, I, I do want to say that um, I do want to say things aren't always what they seem to be, and um, you always got to give people the benefit of the doubt. But sometimes they're not always what you seem to be, and I'll just leave it at that. Um, I, I would say any, anything new on the Q front. Anything new on the Q front? I mean, I haven't checked recently, but I mean, they've, they've been posting things all day, but a lot of it's been about, like we mentioned, the NTI and... Uh, you got to really talk loud. Talking NTI. about the NTI and... NTI is uh, not far from here. What's way we yeah, should go over there? We, we could probably go over there. So I think that that little nugget came out from actually somebody, one of your other researchers found that original information, and I just dug into it. So there's people working on that trying to understand how this very complex people from all over the world are allegedly working together with nuclear all the north korea stuff for nti why? is the thing if, that just keeps why do you have all why are you get, do, can you go to north korea and get chemical and biological weapons training i thought, I thought only dennis rodman could go for travel i thought unless you could like slam right and play hoops yeah. with, with kim yeah. Jung -Yung, you couldn't get in there and apparently I, I mean eric schmidt got in there yeah, Eric Quinn, Schmidt. John Podesta has a picture with him. Well, I think maybe that's what Q's saying is North Korea is way more of a, 
a storehouse and develop okay. development area and factories developing chemical weapons and so forth. Because right. Qaddafi's gone, uh, Saddam Hussein is gone, so the last two chemical weapons kind of development labs are gone. I'm sure Arsenal in Bulgaria still has a capability. I'm sure uh, there's still a capability in Syria. Turkey probably was developing in Aleppo at, at some, some locations. Now that's blown up, so now we got to move again. Is Mattis that smart? I, I don't know. He might be. I mean, people, Q seems to think NTI was targeted. Yeah. Pretty, pretty, I mean, he's, he's hitting the NTI drum pretty hard. Right. So that, that seems to be, and if you just, you can just go and look at the videos put out by them, and they're basically going, coming against, <laughs> really aggressively coming against the president of the United States regarding the Iran deal. And the, I mean, the same guy was involved in the North Korea deal with, he was Clinton's DOE guy. And now he became Obama's DOE guy, or the Obama administration's DOE guy, and did the Iran deal. You kind of wonder why all these guys are coming together now, and they're now coming against the president who's saying, trying to stop the nuclear proliferation, right? Right. And they're, everyone's kind of doing scare tactics with North Korea and Iran. The most vocal are the ones that are the most, are the conspirators. They're I actually mean, involved somehow in yeah. these places. I, it's I, odd. I, I guess the thing I, and just, just in processing, walking with task force I, I think how much effort is spent trying to convince the american people that there's a terrorist threat just all this effort and all these informants and all this money and all this effort and influence to try to convince people that there are these terrorists so that so the american people buy into uh the patriot act and they buy into this uh dhs and all this stuff all the people in these layers are not aware of the other people in the layers. They all think they're doing the right thing. They all think they're being patriotic. They all think, like the person I worked with, they all think, hey, I'm doing the right thing. But it ends up being a setup. And it ends up a, an innocent person being set up. And that's uh, that's, the, that's the part about this where only the topmost inner circle knows mm -hmm. that, hey, this is a journalist that's figuring it out. We're gonna take this mother down. Um, and. I feel I, I feel a lot more like Gary Webb today than I did two days ago, or and I feel a lot more, even more so now. Every hour that goes by, I feel more like Gary Webb, thinking, "Man, I kicked over a hornet's nest." Mm -hmm. This whole time phone thing is just a huge distraction. I realize it appeals to my ego and my dad's ego and my brother's ego because he put up the network between Fort Wayne and Chicago. Um, and again, I don't condone anything my relative did, but. Uh, it's all a distraction away from this fundamental truth, which is there's all these people involved in the surveillance infrastructure that think they're doing the right thing. And they're not. They're creating and targeting a certain set of people so that you all, all the rest of everybody, spends more money on DHS and, and agrees to more surveillance and agrees to more military involvement in surveillance, more tracking. You know, what is it next? I mean, yeah, not just chips? Military, but, right. I mean, I mean chips are next. That was actually brought out by Q. He talked about I thought it was all just like crazy talk, but Right, I, he's like, uh, there was something put out today about 23andMe, who owns 23andMe? The person that owns the spouse, the person that owns Google. Google pretty much owns 23andMe. And, the, the and I did 23andMe with all my kids and everything, and you well, know, they were really interested in Tay Sachs, you know, because Tay Sachs normally targets, um, you know, Middle Eastern people, and I, I start thinking, oh my God, are they developing bioweapons that are targeted at certain specific races? You well, know? well, they keep, what they what people don't realize is they, they, they want to capture your DNA, and that's what Q put out today. So you first you have, a, now they they wanted your fingerprint to open your phone, right? What's next? The question was like, you know, sample of the, your blood the face, your phone? The face recognition so at 10. The, the only thing that the 10, <laughs> the only thing that 10 had, he mentioned something about iris scan. Yeah. The only thing that 10 had, that was an improvement was facial recognition to open your right. phone. So that the only thing they do is verify that it's, it's kind of Nadra. Yeah. It's Nadra. That's it's been right. a gradual process of introducing Nadra. Right. It's bio, the biometric uh, phone. Right. It's just a biometric phone. And then the next, that's the next step is the chip. And I, people don't think that's crazy talk, but I mean, that's what's in Pat Nadra's system. But it's isn't there a company that's like, you know, you're in a cool club, you're in the cool kids club if you get the chip? Yeah. There's what's actually, what's I mean, the, what's that called? There, it's called uh, what X chip or something. I can't remember the name of it. There's several companies here in the United States that have already had voluntary. So their their companies say you can voluntarily come in and take a chip, and then you can just run your hand or wherever the chip is, and like buy sodas and stuff out of the machine. 
this is crazy crap, people. <laughs> don't, don't take chips. It, it's almost <laughs> like you have a bunch of pig farmers that say, well, humans are pigs too. Let's just mine them and farm them. And I, when, we were, we're when, we were in, when we were in Wisconsin, it really reminded me of that. When we were at Racine, I really got this idea that we were kind of like yet right. another feed lot, you mm -hmm. know. And uh, so uh, anyway, it was just kind of interesting. But I think maybe going over to NTI yeah. would be an interesting thing. I'll, I'll take a couple of questions here. We always get audience really, really fast. Oh, <laughs> I shouldn't say where we're eating tonight. Uh, no, 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 not a good yeah, idea. Yeah. We're, we're worried. I should stop doing <laughs> geolocation now that I know the network. Um, but, I, you know, I, I think here, uh, I don't know if I should say this. If somebody's involved in one, two, three, four, five cases, uh, putting you know people away um, and they're getting money for it um, it's really hard to then see their actions as different the sixth time um, and I'm really close to the Oregon case which is I mean I Pete Santilli he came out he was a talk show host he did a thing right here at the White House he came out to Oregon and he went down to Metalure and supported and I swear to God those Oath Keeper guys like nine of them were FBI guys and there was only two idiots. I'm mean, not idiots, but I mean Lloyd Finnicum and a couple of other people that were actually well, real. Yeah, I think there's legit Oath Keepers, but they don't. Lot but of there was only like three right. out of the nine. Well, they don't, a lot of people, they just don't realize how it's infiltration happens. And, and there was right. a, this bird sanctuary that's closed in the middle of the winter anyway. They had some, uh, you know, cheap uh, Sanka and they had some uh, protein bars. Nobody would have been in there anyway for another month or two. So it wasn't like, you know, they uh, took down the administration building at Harvard University or anything like that. I mean, a few, the birds actually liked it. I heard the birds, you know, I mean, the birds are starting to flourish. They're changing their migration patterns because they were going up in there and getting fed. Uh, but then, uh, you know, Santilli goes in jail without a trial limited access to an attorney this is a guy who's a journalist he's just a radio talk show host he he never he didn't pick up a gun or anything he was just covering the event as a journalist no 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 uh, this is uh, Lloyd Finnicum. Oh, okay. okay this is Lloyd yeah. Finnicum down in Malheur Forest okay. Okay. I'm sorry I should have said so we were following I thought well it's kind of wacko guys down there in Malheur uh, but then you go down there and I went down my, my sister lives down that way and I spent some time the amount of time spent radicalizing these kids to get them to do something stupid, like the one kid did at the, the uh, college, um, uh, I can't think of it, it was near Medford, um, not Medford, it was, I can't remember, it was on the Oregon coast, but just spent all kinds of time and getting them weapons, and then there was, there was an Oregon shooter at Clackamas Town Center, and, and if that one guy hadn't been armed, I remember that. Uh, he would have killed a lot more people, and then he, they had the safe point or whatever, the, the departure point, and they went down the stairs. They shot the bottom of the stairs, and then they still went through the whole rigmarole of bringing out all the military police, and they, you know, the drip, 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 even though they knew he was dead. You know, the shooter's been neutralized about two hours after they knew he was dead. It's just all just such a big fake, fake, fake. I, I, I hate to say it, but the whole thing is fake. Everything here is fake. I mean, Trump it's maybe. Show. It's a Truman Show. I mean, the whole thing is just to spend more money. You know, it's just to spend more money on the infrastructure for the control. I know everyone's told me this a thousand times, but when you actually live it and it's your life and you almost, you know, ended up, you know, going in the slammer for somebody else's illegal uranium trade or whatever else trade was going on in South Carolina, it really hits home. And then when it, all the facts start coming at you, then it's kind of like a real realization. And, um, uh, Anyway, all right. Let's go to NTI. Let's keep the let's keep the let's keep it moving in a positive direction. Let's keep getting the data. Let's keep pushing the data out. And um, but I'll, that's all I can say is it's uh, we don't need no more surveillance. And you know with Devin Nunes and the thing passing the uh, 702, yeah. then coming out with a memo thing like oh, democracy still works. I don't know if. Well, I know they did all, you know, some alterations to 702, but I don't know how, you know, I don't, I'm hoping that as more of this is being revealed to them, and they're, that's why they're digging, they want the documents, that there will be additional adjustments, that this is not our life. Well, Samantha, like, I mean, Obama switched it from, and everybody knows I support Obama, but he switched it from the one hop 
surveillance on the signature of the president to two hops. So like if your brother call uh, my wacky brother, okay, or somebody's a wacky relative, let's say I had a wacky relative, then does something wacky with somebody else. Now I'm on the hook for that, you know? And, um, and then if you have a Brennan who has a, a self-righteous Samantha Power and a self-righteous husband who palsy walsy with um, morale, yeah. uh, Cass Sunstein, well, I can just start, you know, picking anybody and choosing anybody I want to do deep dives on, right? Right. You know, and you know, how many did she do? 240, 240 deep dives on maskings in two months of transition? I don't even think it was two months. Yeah, I think it was like two, somebody said 260. I don't, I don't even know. 260, it's, it's, 260. It's, it's, it's mind blowing. How many would she have done US? over the election? How right. many did she do over the election? Well, she's, she's, she's just at the UN. She's on the Security Council. Well, and that's that team of 12. I wish Trump would publish the 60 the names of the 60 people that got sanctioned i heard they're going to do sanctions today the state department's going to do an, another round of sanctions against the russians if anybody knows what that list looks like and and the other thing is are they going to hold rosenstein in contempt today yeah that's for not turning over the doj records right and then uh, there's three different committees i think it's gowdy's committee nunez's committee and also goodlatt's committee right. who all are going to maybe hold uh, in contempt, they, uh, Comey in contempt for right. the Comey memos, right? And they, yeah, well, they're holding the DOJ. The DOJ is in possession, allegedly, of the Comey memos. Yeah. So that would be Rosenstein because he's... And charged. Dana Buente's hand notes, because Dana Buente always checks in with Jim Comey about his daily diary, so then, then Dana Buente can write down his daily diary. Right, right. So they, they're, Rosenstein's in possession of those, so they're wanting them to turn over. And the, all three groups talking about articles of impeachment have already been basically written up. So, Okay, so I'm more convinced than ever the Awans, uh, breaking the Awan spy ring is the way to do it. You have to crack the back of the backbone, the bat Blackberry backbone. That is more important than ever to stop this because there's no way... There's no way to stop it otherwise. You have to, if, if you're going to have a secure, illegal channel for illegal trade, you have to break that BlackBerry backbone. It's an illegal backbone. These are terrorists. They're sending terabytes of information to Pakistan. They're sending hundreds of thousands of dollars, maybe millions, maybe more than that. Maybe maybe it's, maybe it's billions. We only know for sure about 400,000, but then there's 20 houses they didn't tell us about. There's 50 car loans they didn't tell us about. And there's how many drug transactions through stolen cars we don't know about we only know they went they, they we only know they had enough line of credit to go a million dollars in debt which is a big line of credit let me right. tell you you got to have a pretty good car dealership going to get it a million dollars in debt oh, and we know what how 1.7 billion was flown on our cash to Iran on planes I mean we know that yeah. if they can do that what, could, what how much was transferred what you they, know they can't hear you so uh, okay sorry yeah. uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it right there this is more like a gripe session. I mean, <laughs> I, I really d didn't have a, a lot of content here other than to say, there it is, everybody. If you want to look at Chemonix, there it is. It's over there. And um, it's, it ain't always what you think. I guess that's the bottom line.